Hello, everyone. This is Donald J. Trump. I've come to make a little intro warning that for some reason, me, Joe's, and Barack's microphones have gotten fuzzy throughout the rest of the video. We apologize and don't exactly know what is the case, but hopefully this will be fixed soon. Anyways, hope you enjoy the rest of the video regardless. Okay, gentlemen, shall we resume doing more of these reaction stuff before you two leave and such? Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't want spending time like this with you two to be considered short-lived, so let's keep going for now. Hilarious coming from the one who usually gets scared the most doing these horror stuff, but you're also right, we should do more. Obama, what are we doing next? Have you two heard of the Walton Files? I'm sorry, wait, can you repeat that again? Did you just say the Walton Files? Yes, I did, in fact, say the Walton Files. Why is that, Joey? Do you know anything about it? Yes, I have, actually. Not much, but I heard it's a series of tapes depicting broken people who eventually become abominations. A case that goes straight under everyone's noses and leaves the masses questioning whether the animatronics are haunted or even cursed. Okay, buddy, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure you just described Five Nights at Freddy's in a layman's terms. What's so special about these tapes compared to FNAF? The Walton Files depicts a tale of broken people becoming abominations, like the animatronics. In the place named Bonds Burgers, a man named Felix Kranken, the owner of the place, had mysteriously went missing just after a whole lot of other people did too, including another man named Jack Walton, who allegedly worked alongside Felix during the development of Bond's Burgers. For someone who says you don't know a whole lot, you seem to know just enough to have given a synopsis of the story. Yeah, that was a pretty solid rundown. Makes me wonder if you have some sort of relationship to the series. I wouldn't say that, but let's get reacting already. Obama, what's the first video called? The title of the first video is called Company Introductory Tape. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's start the reaction already. Interesting start to the video. Wonder if the black and white viewing of a bunny's ears was really necessary for that much static noise though. Well, thankfully none of us are wearing any headphones on, so just be grateful for now, I guess. Also, am I crazy or do I recognize this music piece from somewhere? Who knows, though I'm not expecting any Tom, answers anytime and soon. To the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. Well, that what doesn't sound like a very fun job now, does it? Hey, technical support in a lot of areas can actually be a pretty cool job, you know. For being the President Biden, you don't seem to know the wonders of jobs like those. Well, in a situation like this, technical support might actually be more dangerous than fun, assuming you're working with the animatronics. Speaking of the animatronics, good Lord, do they look way more ugly than I remember. What is actually going on here? You're asking me, Barry? Joe, you seem to be the one to know a lot more than usual, mind describing what's happening. Um, I don't remember too well, but I think right now they're literally just dancing and singing old songs. Weird. But okay. Who the heck is that? If one of my children were here seeing these freaks, I'd hit up my lawyers to investigate the place, just cause these things look way too weird to be child friendly. Obama, as much as I agree with you, you've said that for basically every single animatronic we've ever came across. So either you have some sort of automatonophobia, or you just really have never encountered the ugly Chuck E. Cheese animatronics before. I'm sorry, a tomato what now? Automatophobia, the fear of mannequins, wax figures, statues, dummies, robots, or in this case, animatronics. You know, I wouldn't personally know if I have that or not, but maybe I could get someone to check up on me to see if that's the case or not. I've never really entertained that idea before. What the heck? I don't remember pig squeals during old McDonald had a farm. Oh my gosh, they look even worse here than when they were singing. to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Oh, hell nah, that's one of the last things I'd want to do with those things. I know what they're capable of. Okay, Joe, how much of this do you actually know? I'm starting to think you're hiding something from us about this series. Hang on, hang on, something just happened. Can we be quiet for a bit? All right, all right, fine. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That's what they all that say. Being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Ah, interesting. Hang on, what's this here? Save, restore, secure, the BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all the valuable items. Okay, I guess I can't read the full thing then? And now it's all dark. Great. What the? 
That was definitely a speech play backwards. Guess we're going to have to review a handful of things by the end of the video. I swear this really does sound like something I've heard before. This tune sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is exactly. Okay, that's sweet and all, but what are we seeing now? Is this some old cartoon or something? And why are we seeing this in a company introductory tape? I'm starting to think this is some sort of compilation of tapes and not actually a company introduction or anything like that. waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have him sleep over with What kind of cartoon is this? I don't know, but it looks cute so far. Biden, I swear there's been plenty of things we've came across that you identified as cute or adorable. And I swear almost every time you did so, it ended up being something horrific. Okay, but does that make me wrong though? Yes, some things ended up not being as cute as they appear, but are you saying this bunny isn't cute now? Mama, about that. Yeah, too late for that now. Had a feeling something was gonna happen. Oh, that must be them. You really call that cute, Joe? Look at his big, arrived, beady eyes. How can you see them and not call them begin. cute? If there were plushies of those things, I'd get them for my daughter. Joe, not gonna lie, brother, you've also brought up something like that when we played that one game with the bendy dude and whatever. You call a lot of things cute, you know. Is the bunny dude cute or not? That's all I'm asking. Hang on, what's going on with the audio? What the? What did we just miss out on earlier? More importantly, did you two see the text that was on the TV? What did it say? It looked like it said, let me out of here. Okay, and now they're all sleeping. Must have been a quick time lapse or something. Wait, hold on. This just crossed my mind. Who in the world is that clown guy? We haven't seen him yet. Whoa, I don't remember. Matter of fact, I don't remember much about him at all. That means you're suggesting you remember the other characters at least. Mind giving us their background or something? Actually, that part, I don't remember much either. I just know that the sheep was actually a lady who had her entire body ripped apart, then stuffed into the animatronic. What? Okay, so the little bunny is now awake, but what even woke him up? And why is the place so dark? What happened to his windows projecting moonlight? Better yet, why is it so dark, but we can still see the bunny? Better yet, what the heck is happening on screen? Why is there a glitching missing poster? Wait a minute. Joe Biden, didn't you mention something about some dude named Jack Walton at the beginning? Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure I did, but I can't fully remember what I said. Probably something to do with the fact that he worked with the other man behind Bond's Burgers. Interesting, because here it is suggesting to us that Mr. Walton went missing and even had a date but unfortunately, I couldn't make it out on what it said. Definitely going to need to keep a note of that for the future. Oh, oh my God. God. What the heck? What the heck was that all about? First, the bunny was just playing with a lighter, and then something screeched into my ears. More importantly, did you two see what even happened? I'm pretty sure I just saw a woman in the bunny except in 3D. Hang on, wait a minute. Do you gentlemen hear something? Who's your mommy? Not really. I think I hear something faint, but... Uh, I hear something, but I legit can't understand what it is. It almost sounds like someone talking right now, but literally can't understand what he's even saying. Something about him going to a weird location in the forest. I made it to the location, I think. What the heck are we even looking at? What kind of flashlight is this dude using that's this pathetically weak? I literally can't see a thing. From the little I can see, it seems like he's at that storage facility we saw advertised not too long ago. Which probably means this right now is through the perspective of a facility caretaker, which certainly means something bad's gonna happen. And suddenly his flashlight's actually usable. What are we looking at here? These literally just look like family photos. So what are they doing in an abandoned looking facility? Most off-putting, why is the guy suddenly so loud and he's breathing very heavily into our ears? Most, most off-putting, why does everyone in the pictures look so distorted and weird? Like as if their faces have been stretched or something. Maybe this series is filled with aliens or something. Can we shut it real quick? Something's happening and I can't hear the guy. What is this dude even saying though? I literally cannot make out anything being uttered by his mouth. Or if that even is him talking. Okay, but can we talk about the way Bond the animatronic looks right now? Holy, 
Does he look way uglier than the magazines made him out to be? I'm sorry, wait. Magazines you said. Of Bonds Burgers? Yeah. Bonds Burgers had these neat and cute little magazines about either the restaurant itself or the characters. There was one of the sheep where she transformed into a goat and galloped like a horse to L.A. Leyland. Hang on, wait a second. What's happening to Bone right now? Okay, I'm assuming the thing's now malfunctioning like always. More like whatever's inside a bond is waking up to attack. If this is anything like Freddy's. But, but, what's happening now? You're asking us, Joe. Was that thing crying or bleeding just now? I don't know. Those tears did look really dark, so maybe it was blood or something. Did guy just get caught? Is that the Bond animatronic? I don't know, but brace yourselves, gentlemen. I feel a jump scare coming. Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on? This thing is making my skin crawl for some reason. This does look very odd, but why are we being shown this? Maybe we're for some reason supposed to take note of the expressions the face is making. Oh, okay, flattering imagery. Well, that guy's definitely dead. I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Uh, cool. Who's this her, though? I don't remember, but we're not about to find out in this video, Ben. Brian Stella? No, Brian Stells. And he was a facility caretaker. Well, now we know that's just a death sentence. Of course it would be. I'm not surprised. What? What? Ah! Who the heck is this guy? That's Jack Walton. I remember that face. Oh my gosh, that horrible face. No need to be insensitive here, gentlemen. There's no way you just said that when this face pops up out of nowhere with this weird music in the background. Whoa, what's going on now? Wait, was that it? That was the longest 12 or 13 minutes of my life. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let's not say anything till the video's actually over. You're right, you're right. Well, hopefully no jump scare or anything like that. Oop, it is actually over. Why did it end with the music getting distorted for a bit though? I don't know, but thank goodness that's over now. All right, so what do we think of that, gentlemen? I don't know, actually. It was definitely a strange analog horror show, I'll give it that. It had my interest and there were some pretty unnerving parts to it that kind of worked. Something about it was definitely a little more different than I remember, but it was still interesting nonetheless. The choice of art style, I will admit, is pretty weird, albeit a fascinating choice to use for visualizing the events. I kind of liked it. For it being slightly lengthy and the first episode of the series, it has a nice establishment and sense of story and original looking animatronics. Yeah, it was interesting, although I don't have much else to say. Maybe next time we check out the next few episodes, we'd have more to say. For now, let's take a break from all of this reacting and stuff. At least until we look at whatever the audience has suggested. All right, well, should we end the video here on a short end? Well, I'm not too opposed to it, so why not? If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like, comment, and a subscription to Jared Gaming. It helps us and Jared make more of these kinds of videos. Just don't expect them too often. All of us are busy one way or another, especially me. And with all of that, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all.